Hi class, a very good evening everyone. Welcome to the session and welcome to your favorite live learning platform, the Baiju's exam prep and welcome uh, to the important previous year questions discussion. Okay, because uh, you know, as we have been telling you the previous year analysis, previous year questions are very, very helpful for your analysis, uh, for your practice, for learning what the level of gate is and especially the recent years. Yes, guys, especially the recent years are like more of a trendsetter. What you see in the recent years that sets you the exact level of the examination, exact pattern of the examination. So, okay, we are going to discuss today digital electronics. Okay, we are going to discuss today the questions of digital electronics for the years 2021, 2022, 2023 for the branch of EC and EE and then I will bring up a separate session for CS also. Okay, although this session can be watched by EC, EE, CS all because the syllabus is mostly common for digital electronics. Okay, and Wednesday I will have the discussions of exclusively computer science questions. So yes, there, there. All ECW students can also watch. Okay, so guys, let's get started. Okay, the three years to important 2021, 22, 23 digital electronics questions we are going to discuss today. Okay, this is a regular brief intro. Let's get moving ahead. So guys, whatever we discuss today, like all my other sessions, whatever we discuss today, okay, I'm going to share you the PDF with the complete solutions. And other than that, for more doubt discussions, for updates about upcoming exams or other concepts also, you can be connected in my Telegram group. I will share you the link of the Telegram uh, also. I'll just share the link of the telegram also in some time. Okay, so it just be updated and okay. So guys, uh, the 2023 engineering services mains results are out. So if you are one of them and looking for free mock interview sessions, face to face offline manner, so you can just share a result in the description. There is a link in the description. So that team will book your offline slots accordingly. And guys, yeah, so there's an update 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 okay that is starting from tomorrow okay those who want to also learn mathematics an important area of mathematics differential equation so some practice sessions of differential equation on the Baiju's exam prep app okay at 11 a.m daily i bring to you this is starting from tomorrow only actually we have uh, due to some technical reason actually our says start on another but it will start tomorrow okay so tomorrow tuesday variable separable differential equation then linear first order etc okay so you can you know watch these sessions on the byju's exam prep app daily 11 am the important practice session of differential equation actually differential equations can mostly be learned through practicing and techniques so with that practice sessions i'll give you the techniques whatever are the important formulas and techniques so that it's like more more important formulas of uh, differential equations are ready for you okay ji now let's come back to the class and let's get started with the questions dear very quickly okay so starting with a very basic number system question okay 2021 ec1 mark question is here in front of you so if 1235x is 3033 in y x and y indicate the basis of corresponding numbers then what can be the possible values of x and y okay 2021 ec1 mark okay so now guys we all know how the positions are allocated this is the position 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 these are the positions that you allocate isn't it okay now based on this position okay digit into base power position digit into base raised to the power position that is what we do so if two numbers are equal in unknown basis but ultimately they are equal na? so their decimal values will also be equal right now their decimal values will also be equal okay so let us compare their decimal values then okay so i will have digit one okay into base base x left side pair x raised to the power three next digit is 2 multiplied by x square okay next digit is equal to 3 multiplied by x power 1 and next digit is equal to 5 multiplied by x power 0 that is simply 1 only this should be equal to 3 again the same uh, position 0 1 2 3 okay so 3 into y cube next is simply 0 next is 3 into y power 1 next is 3 into y power 0 okay so now okay what do i have x cube simplify karenge to plus 2x square plus 3x plus 5 should be equal to 3y cube plus 3y plus of 3. Okay, now what you have to do is no need to solve the equation. Don't waste your time. Just use your calculators and get hold of the answers quickly. So suppose if I want to try option number A. Okay, suppose if I want to try option number A. Okay, so 8 cube that is 512 plus 2 into 8 square plus 3 into 8 plus 5. Okay, so that is 669 and whether it is matching with the right hand side where y is equal to 6, where y is equal to 6. Okay, so 6 cube, 36 cube plus 
y का वैल्यू सिक्स ले रहे हैं प्लस थ्री ओके या इट मैचेस विद द ऑप्शन नंबर ए ओके ऑप्शन नंबर ए ओके इफ आई ट्राई ओके आई गेट सिक्स सिक्स नाइन ऑन बोथ द साइड्स ओके आई गेट सिक्स सिक्स नाइन ऑन बोथ द साइड्स ओके सो ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट इज द वेरी करेक्ट आंसर डियर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट इज द वेरी करेक्ट आंसर ऑल राइट डियर यस वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग एवरीबडी कीप शेयरिंग द सेशन टू ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स ओके करेक्ट करेक्ट आकांक्षा ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द वेरी करेक्ट आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट वन गाइस ओके 2022 ईसी वन मार्क अच्छा लेट मी आल्सो स्पेसिफाई दैट दिस इज अ एमएसक्यू क्वेश्चन ओके दिस वन इज अ एमएसक्यू क्वेश्चन ओके तो सेलेक्ट द बुलियन फंक्शन इक्वल इन टू एक्स प्लस वाई जेड वेर एक्स वाई जेड आर द बुलियन वेरिएबल्स ओके डेफिनेटली ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज करेक्ट बिकॉज दिस इज नथिंग बट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ डोंट ट्राई टू प्रूव इट इन द एग्जाम टाइम यू कैन बट ये सब पता होना चाहिए दिस इज नथिंग बट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ ऑफ द बुलियन थियरम ओके द एक्स प्लस वाई इंटू एक्स प्लस जेड एक्स कॉमन एक्स प्लस वाई इंटू जेड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव लॉ ऑफ बुलन वर्ल्ड बुलियन वर्ल्ड ठीक है नाउ नाउ In the option number A, if you want to try, okay, only x can be common, and if you take x common, okay, one plus anything is one, so this is equal to x, so that is not equivalent to x plus y z. Okay, guys. Okay, now in the option number B, if I try, definitely x is common from these two terms. The x is common, so x into one plus y plus of z is coming, but x into one plus y is x. One plus y one, okay, so it is x plus z. That is also not of my interest. If I finally check the option number D, okay, so R D K has come up, Akansha has come up with the answer. C and D is what coming up. Great guys, all others also keep moving ahead. Now in the option number D, x common from the first two terms, so one plus y, then plus y z. One plus y is one, so I get x plus y z. Okay, that is the area of my interest. So option number D is also correct. Multiple select question where one or more than one option can be correct. The one or more than one option can be correct. Let us move ahead to the next question. ओके लेट अस मूव अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसीडर द बुलियन गेट डी ओके सो देयर इज सम बुलियन गेट गोइंग टू बी डिफाइंड वेयर द आउटपुट वाई इज रिलेटेड टू द इनपुट ए एंड बी एज वाई इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी बार ओके ये बार थोड़ा सा डिस्प्लेस हो गया लेट मी राइट इट क्लियरली इट इज ए प्लस बी बार इट इज ए प्लस बी बार ओके वेयर प्लस डिनोट्स द लॉजिकल और ऑपरेशन the boolean input 0 1 are also available separately using instances of only d gate so there is some d gate named okay there is some d gate name good evening bhanu there is some d gate name there is a new d gate they are defining and what is this gate d okay like we have nor gate or gate xor gate there is a gate d a gate defined kiya gaya 2022 ec 2 marks hai and guys acha let me also mention here it is again missing it is also a msq question this one is also a multiple select question theek hai what is this gate d okay it is equal to y equal to a plus b bar that means if i want to show with the help of logic symbols ultimately it's a plus operation that is a logical or operation but a plus b bar so how do you show such diagrams in symbol okay a plus b bar something of this side okay we'll place the bubble at the input side of b okay bubble will represent inverter and this is y okay now or logic gate cannot be implemented nahi 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 these are incorrect options i thought of correcting it i forgot there are typo error here okay the correct option is which of the following is or are correct okay i i'll check the accurate options of this isko kuch na kuch change karna padega okay i'll check the accurate options for this this is 2022 right what question is this boolean NAND logic gate can be implemented. Select the correct options करना है Okay, NAND logic gate can be implemented. इसको can कर दीजिए Okay, and uh, or cannot be implemented. NOR logic gate can be implemented. NOR logic gate can be implemented. And logic gate cannot be implemented. हाँ ठीक है ठीक है चलो दीज आर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दीज आर द एक्चुअल ऑफिशियल करेक्ट आंसर चलो नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए प्लस बी बार है ओके वी नो दैट इन्वर्टर कैन इजिली बी बिल्ड इफ आई ग्राउंड ए इफ आई ग्राउंड ए द इन्वर्टर कैन इजिली बी बिल्ड ओके सो लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू द नॉट गेट 
how can you build a not gate so this is your not gate okay whatever variable you want to complement just provided at the bubbled input suppose i want to complement a only suppose i want to complement a and other variable i will put it as ground so this is going going to be a bar okay now i have nor gate given to you i have the nor gate given to you okay think about what is the meaning of nand dear please think about what is the meaning of nand okay nand means y equal to ab whole bar which means a bar plus b bar which means a bar plus b bar theek hai it simply means a bar plus b bar na okay so plus b bar tak to hai i only want a bar so what i am going to do now what i am going to do now i will first use this not gate that i have drawn for you i am going to first not a i am going to first complement a this gives me a bar and i am going to use another gate d i am going to use another gate d ye lijiye ye aa gaya a bar and now you provide b here what is the output here a bar okay and plus b bar because it is bubbled input so it is a bar plus b bar dear okay that means nand gate is implemented can i do nor also acha be very clear since you have nand and not also and is also implemented okay again place a inverter at the output you are going to get d and gate so and be implement hoga okay so what i need to try is now let us now try the nor gate okay nor ko try kar lete hain ek bar okay so nor okay what we know about nor nor is a plus b whole complement i don't want b bar i want a plus b first of all pehle or karte hain yahan pe so what can i do is i want a plus b okay so first i am going to again use a not gate dear i am again going to use not gate and i am going to not b first of all okay so this gives me b bar okay and then again i will use the gate number d i will again use the gate d to the bubbled input i will feed b bar and to the regular input i will feed a so what is this dear okay this is a plus b bar ka bar will be b so i have already implemented a or gate it is a plus b i have already implemented a or gate it is known as a plus b now i want the a plus b ka whole bar okay so one more inverter okay we know how to build a inverter here it is use one more d gate at the bubbled input feed a plus b another input that is grounded and here you have the answer here you have the correct answer that's it this is a nor theek hai up to this it is the or up to this it is the or okay so now we can check the correct options here msq 2 marks a good logical question i would say here okay so now let us match the option dekho or logic gate cannot be implemented it can be implemented so this is a wrong option okay nor logic gate can be implemented okay and nand logic gate can be implemented and logic gate cannot be implemented ye false ho gaya that can also be implemented actually if nor and nand is there to automatically respect everything comes there are universal designs everything comes theek hai theek hai ji done chalo good evening msj so we have the correct answer that is known as b and d we have the correct answer which is known as the b and the d theek hai chalte hain next question ki taraf okay we have the next question here consider two bit mux shown in the figure for output to be the xor gate of c and d what are the values of a0 a1 a2 a3 a0 a1 a2 and a3 the a0 a1 a2 a3 what are the values okay for a0 a1 a2 a3 so a very very simple question yeah one mark ka question hai ye okay we need the output okay we need the output to be xor of c and d okay that means we want c bar d plus c d bar select lines are c d okay c bar d corresponds to 0 1 c d corresponds to 1 0 okay so uh, the 0 1 input is selected okay when you have to activate this okay 1 0 okay this is activated okay so what i can say is place the 1 1 here and rest to 0 0 okay rest to 0 0 khatam khatam it is what 0110 option number c finish very simple it is very simple one mark okay no need no need of anything okay correct c bhanu rdk ananta correct answer c akansha is putting up a doubt here let me go back to the previous question okay boolean inputs are available
no 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 where is it mentioned both inputs to be taken always it is mentioning that 0 and 1 okay that means the complement uh, the input 0 and 1 means you can use the complement also if required but i have derived the complement also no nowhere it is mentioned you have to use both the inputs one of the inputs can be grounded no i think uh, you're just misreading the language i can't share. just have a go through it once okay next question again multiplexer this year 2023 ec1 mark 2023 EC1 mark very very simple previous question they asked the output is given tell me the input of the marks this is even much more simpler okay a 2 cross 1 multiplexer okay so what is the output let's write it here select line 0 that means q bar okay I will select i0 and i0 is grounded okay at the select line 1 1 clicking a q I will select i1 that is p so first part is 0 second part is qp or pq are yaar. how simple as simple as could it, it could be this is very very simple this part is very very simple option number a option number a let's move ahead to the next okay a multiplexer based decent question 2021 uh, based on delays actually okay the propagation delays of the XOR gate and gate and multiplexer in the circuit shown below are 4 2 and 1 nanosecond okay okay so let me write down these delays actually let me write down these delays for XOR it is 4 for uh, and it is 2 and for max it is 1. Kya bula? XOR ka 4 hai, AND gate 2 hai, multiplexer 1 hai, ye AND gate 2 hai, multiplexer 1 hai. Thik hai. If all the inputs are applied simultaneously, that means at the same time, let us say all the inputs are applied at t equal to 0. Okay, let us say all the inputs are applied at t equal to 0. All the inputs are applied at t equal to 0. Okay, what is the maximum propagation delay of the circuit? Okay, maximum propagation delay of the circuit. Now, whenever there is a question on multiplexer, we know that multiplexer, okay, is going to select the data based on the select line, based on the select line. That means all the input, the, all the input parts of the multiplexers will not be active simultaneously. It will only depend which input path is active. That will only depend on the value of the select line. So, we can take the two cases okay case number one if i take t equal to zero let us take the t equal to zero so t equal to zero pe, what is the path t equal to zero means multiplexer i naught will be selected here also i naught will be selected okay okay here also i naught will be selected okay so what i can say guys what i can say very very simple now Deco, the output of this and gate is available at two okay because it has a delay of two okay that means at acha and t is available at t equal to zero only okay at t equal to 0 only let me write down the time t equal to 2 and this is ready at t equal to 0 Achha. okay so select line is available at t equal to 0 and because i am taking the select line as 0 okay only which input is available only which input is required i not which is ready at 2 so i don't need to wait for this delay this will take a certain delay but i don't need to wait for it because my final output okay my final output y will be just equal to the product of pq that will be available at okay 2 and plus 1 okay 2 ye to initially available hai, plus the delay of the multiplexer that is 3 nanosecond that is 3 nanosecond okay but the question is asking maximum propagation delay that is also known as worst case delay considering all possible path okay so this is the this is the data path Isko ek bar thoda sa highlight kar dete hai. so this has been the data path okay for the case number 1 okay for the case number one this has been the data path for the case number one i can say theke? this has been the data path for the case number one clear theke? now next let us take the next case if t is equal to one okay if t is equal to one for t equal to one what is going to be the data path Chalo, dekh lete t equal to 1 pe kya story chalegi so t equal to 1 dear if t is equal to 1 we know that i1 input will be i1 input will be taken for the multiplexer okay so this i1 this input is ready at t equal to 2 okay then this line will be ready ye bhi check karna padega so this will be ready at t equal to 3 2 plus the delay of multiplexer okay that is 3 that is equal to 3 okay then this will be available at 3 plus delay of the AND gate 2. So, this is available at 5 and then the final multiplexer will take one more nanosecond. Okay. So, this Y will be available at T equal to 5 
प्लस वन फाइव प्लस वन विच इज सिक्स नैनो सेकेंड अगेन फॉर योर रेफरेंस लेट मी ऑल्सो शो यू द क्रिटिकल पाथ हेयर फॉर द सेकेंड केस ओके द क्रिटिकल पाथ फॉर द सेकेंड पेस एंड दिस गोज थ्रू दिस एंड गेट मल्टीप्लेक्स नेक्स्ट एंड गेट एंड देन द फाइनल आउटपुट इज डिराइव ओके this is corresponding to t equal to zero path and the above path that i have drawn is corresponding to t equal to acha sorry t equal to zero ye hai this one is for t equal to 1 this is for t equal to 1 okay so what is the maximum propagation delay okay it is the maximum of these two values so the final answer to be taken is 6 nanosecond good question okay good question okay the correct answer is 6 nanoseconds that is option number a that is the option number a okay let me tell you now how pyq is help you okay this looks like a good question definitely but a very similar question not same but very similar question in 2016 2016 for two marks but i am 100% sure if somebody has solved a 2016 question if somebody has solved a 2016 question then this question is in their pocket uske bina bhi kar sakte but if somebody has solved that 2016 then this is blindly you know you can solve it very very quickly that is how pyq will help you similar concepts can repeat but not the same question exactly okay 2016 ka paper check kijiye iisc bangalore ne there was a similar question of this category theek hai chalte hai next question so that is how pyq will help you that is how the pyqs will help you acha that was iisc bangalore only 2016 so guys like this you are practicing regularly on the youtube but also if you want to you know have a daily practice sessions and also daily practice quizzes okay right of of topic of your interest you know up keep attempting in quizzes or if you want study note there are several activities on the byju's exam prep and moreover when you keep attempting attempting on these quizzes okay you know your name keeps on popping up in the leaderboard and you can also feel you know a competitive behavior ki yaar whether i am leading or lagging in the, even the, when i attempt a quiz in the app so many students have attempted what is my total score combining all quizzes so you know multiple features on the byju's exam prep app study notes are there various activities are going on so download this app if you don't have from the google play store or the link is there in the description you can download using the link 2023 ec one mark question ठीक है यस अनंता ठीक है वहां पे आंसर था देर आर टू केसेस कमिंग फाइव एंड सिक्स नैनो सेकंड तो मैक्सिमम वॉज सिक्स नैनो सेकंड आ जाते हैं इस पे फॉर द सर्किट शोन बिलो द प्रोपोगेशन डीले ऑफ ईच एंड गेट इज वन नैनो सेकंड द प्रोपोगेशन डीले ऑफ द ईच एंड गेट इज वन नैनो सेकंड वॉट इज द क्रिटिकल पार्ट डीले अगेन क्रिटिकल पार्ट डीले ओके नाउ क्रिटिकल पार्ट डीले कब आएगा सपोज लेट मी टेक ओके लेट एस कंसिडर द ए इनपुट एज जीरो बिकॉज द इनपुट टू एनी नैंड गेट इज जीरो आउटपुट विल बी वन ओके द इफ द इनपुट इज जीरो आउटपुट विल बी वन एंड दिस वन कम्स हियर ओके अगर इसका इनपुट भी जीरो लेते देन दिस नैंड गेट विल ऑल्सो प्रोड्यूस दी आउटपुट साइमल्टेनियसली एज कंपेयर टू द फर्स्ट बिकॉज एनी इनपुट जीरो आउटपुट विल बी वन सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू लेट मी टेक दिस इनपुट एज वन ओके सो दैट एनी इनपुट वन वॉट इज द आउटपुट आई कैन डिसाइड आई हैव टू वेट फॉर द अदर इनपुट सो दैट अदर इनपुट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द क्यू पाथ दैट क्रिएट्स अ क्रिटिकल डीले दैट क्रिएट्स अ लॉन्गर डीले ओके द साइकिल इज समथिंग ऑफ दिस काइंड okay it goes here it reflects in the queue okay and then it goes to the queue bar so both the delays are coming into picture and the delay of each nand gate i think is 1 nanosecond this is 1 nanosecond this is also 1 nanosecond so this will be available at 1 nanosecond okay then plus one more t equal to 1 plus 1 2 nanoseconds is the answer okay for both the outputs q and q and q bar to stabilize answer is 2 nanoseconds correct answer rdk and ananda great going it's a one mark net question 2023 okay in nanoseconds the correct answer is equal to what the correct answer is equal to 2 okay next question is ready for us the next question is ready 2020 uh, 22 e one mark fundamental question bachcho ka question hai ye ekdam a mod 2 and mod 5 up counter when cascaded together results in what whenever counters are connected in cascade the mod numbers are multiplied so my answer is equal to nothing but 10 okay my answer is equal to 10 it's a mod 10 counter very simple you should know this डिराइव नहीं करेंगे अभी यहां पे, ओके बट इट हैज सिंपल लॉजिक्स ओके वेन एवर काउंटर्स आर कैस्केडेड देयर मॉड नंबर्स आर मल्टीप्लाइड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन 2022 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू डबल ई वन मार्क क्वेश्चन मैक्सिमम क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी इन मेगा हर्ड्स ऑफ अ फोर स्टेज ओके फोर स्टेज रिपल काउंटर ओके यूज यू नो यूटिलाइजिंग फ्लिप फ्लॉप ईच फ्लिप फ्लॉप हैविंग अ प्रोपोगेशन डीले ओके वॉट इज द डीले ऑफ एवरी फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओके 
I call it as TFF, whatever name you want to give, you can give 20 nanoseconds. Maximum clock frequency in the case of ripple counter. Okay, in the case of ripple counter. Okay. Okay. Akansha, first of all, that will create the invalid state if you take both inputs to zero. But right now, let us forget invalid states. Let us say, I don't know what are latches and all. I don't know invalid state. But at least, ek circuit analysis to kar sakte. If you take both inputs as zero, NAND gate, any input zero, output is one. So, both NAND gates output will be one. But at the same time, so that is also a delay. But that is not the critical part delay. Critical part delay will deal with the worst case delay. Okay, that will deal with the worst case delay. Achha, to ripple counter, mein, what is the maximum clock frequency? Okay, for ripple counter, what is the formula? Okay, the maximum clock frequency is given by 1 upon NTFF. 1 upon NTFF. Okay, 1 upon NTFF. Okay, so what's the answer? 1 upon N, it's a 4 stage. Okay, so 4 into 20 nanoseconds. Nanoseconds ko upar lege, it will become 10 power 9 divided by... 80. Okay, answer is required in what? Megahertz kya? Units mentioned nahi hai kya? Ah, ye na, megahertz. Answer is in megahertz. So, 10 power 3, 1000 divided by 80 into 10 raised to the power 6. So, my answer is 100 by 8, 12.5. Correct. If I am wrong in calculation, 100 by 8, it should be 12.5. Megahertz is the final answer. 12.5 megahertz is the final answer. Done? Eh? Correct answer, Bhanu. Hai? Yeah, right answer, Ananda, but apply the calculation also. Hai? So, 12.5 uh, megahertz is the last and correct answer. Moving ahead to the next one. Okay, 2021 double E, one mark, one mark, but logical question. Hai? Ye decent one mark question. Hai? The previous one was formula based, very simple. A 16 bit synchronous binary up counter is clogged. So, it's a binary up counter. It is clogged with the frequency F clock. The two most significant bits are odd. Okay. Two most significant bits are odd together to form an output Y. Okay. So, because it is 16 bit synchronous counter, so I can name it as how much? Q15, Q14, Q13, etc., 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 Q1, Q0. These are the 16 bits. Okay. So, they are odd together to form an output Y. So, oring kiska or I? Two most significant bits that is Q14 and Q15 two most significant bits okay measurement so that y is periodic it will be periodic because the nature of the counter is periodic na koi bhi do bits ka loge, but ultimately they will keep repeating after the cycle of the counter is complete okay and the duration for which y remains high in each period is 24 milliseconds what is the clock frequency a very logical question one mark very logical question dekho okay q15 Q14, Q13, etc., Q1, Q0. Okay, guys, a very simple logic you can apply ki the count will start from all zeros. Okay, right. The count will start from all zero. Okay, let me separate these two bits. Okay, let us consider there are only 14 bits. We know that first all the lower bit calculation will complete. Then only we keep going towards the higher bit. Okay. Right. Even what happens in 3 bits? Suppose 3 bits. 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. For the first 4 combination, MSB is 0. Okay. Next. Again 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The MSB in 1. Now, dekho. Yehi hota hai na 3 bit combination. That is what is a 3 bit combination. Okay. So, what I can say, till this becomes 1, 1. All 1s. Till these becomes all 1. Okay. Okay. These two MSBs are kept at zero. These two MSBs are kept at zero. Now there will come a turn. Okay. Now there will come a turn. Dhyan dena. Now there will come a turn where the MSB will become zero one. Okay. Zero one. And again you will take all combinations from zero zero. Okay. Up to one one. Okay, this will be still at 0, 1. There will come a time, now it will become 1, 0. And two MSBs are there, na? they will be in four cases, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Okay, again, from 0, 0, you have to complete all 1, 1. Okay, and similarly, last but not the least, 
okay msb will become one one still you will complete this case from zero up to all ones up to all ones okay now zero zero to all ones how many count 14 bits okay these are 14 bits so these are how many values okay all possible count of 14 bits all possible count of 14 bits 2 power 14 2 power 14 2 power 14 and even this will be 2 power 14 even this will be 2 power 14 okay but when you are oring what is the fundamental of or gate any input high output will be high so for these combinations y will be high here y will be zero okay okay so y equal to one for how many clock cycles y equal to one for how many clock cycles hello let me just take one extra slide here dear y equal to one for how many clock cycles y equal to one for okay these two power 14 these two power 14 these two power 14 clock cycles that is 3 into 2 raised to the power 14 clock cycles okay y is equal to 1 for this much time and this much time is given to you okay measurement show that the duration for which y remains high in each period is 24 milliseconds okay and this is given to you as 24 milliseconds okay so 3 into 2 raised to the power 14 t clock is 24 milliseconds what is the value of the t clock yeah directly f clock ki baat karte hai. what is the f clock frequency of clock chahiye na? frequency of the clock is 1 upon time period of the clock and 1 upon time period of the clock will be 3 into 2 power 14 divided by 24 milliseconds and milli is 10 power minus 4 let me compute this you can also use your virtual calculators undoubtedly and uh, we should be getting the answer as in megahertz say yeah yeah in megahertz okay so it should be 2.048 in megahertz 2.048 megahertz approximated as 2.05 because they are mentioning round off to two decimal places okay so rounding off to two decimal places 2.05 megahertz okay 2.05 the 2.05 megahertz is the correct answer okay 2021 double e one mark question okay let's quickly move ahead to the next question dear yeah right 2021 double e two mark question a counter is constructed with three d flip-flops the input output pairs are named as d naught q naught d1 q1 and d2 q2 where the subscript zero being the lsb as always nothing new in that Okay, the output sequence is desired to be the gray code sequence. So, we are designing a gray code counter in a sense you can say that. Okay, even if they don't mention the gray code sequence, it is good they have mentioned but you should be able to know the gray code sequence by your own also. Okay, uh, repeating periodically. Note that the bits are listed in Q2, Q1, Q0 format. Okay, MSB to LSB. Okay, what is the combinational logic expression for D1? Okay, what is the combinational logic expression for D1? Okay, what I will simply do is, let me write down the current state. Okay, this is known as the present state. Then I will write down the next state. That is Q2 plus, Q1 plus, Q0 plus. And then I will write down the D inputs, excitation signals. Okay, like how you design a counter. Okay, excitation signals. The excitation signals. Okay. Okay, now first of all, we know that we want to write down the D inputs as the function of present state to write down all possible combinations of present state. This is going to be the uh, input variables while deriving the excitation signals. And we write down all regular combinations first of all for this. Okay, starting from 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1. Okay, now what is the next step? Remember, you have to design a gray code counter. So, in the gray code after 0, 0, 0, you should have 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1 ke baad 0, double 1. 0, 1, 0 ke baad. See, if you forget, write down here. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the 2-bit gray code. Okay, now reflect kiya isko. Gray code is a reflecting code. See, even though it is given in the question, I did not see. You should remember this gray code. Otherwise, it is given what is the gray code. 
ठीक है तो देखो आफ्टर जीरो जीरो वन इट इज जीरो डबल वन आफ्टर जीरो वन जीरो इट इज वन वन जीरो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट आफ्टर जीरो डबल वन इट इज जीरो वन जीरो ओके आफ्टर वन डबल जीरो आफ्टर वन डबल जीरो इट इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो 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 ओके जीरो 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 ओके आफ्टर द वन जीरो वन आफ्टर द वन जीरो वन इट इज वन डबल जीरो ओके वन वन जीरो के बाद वन 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 ओके एंड आफ्टर वन 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 इट इज वन जीरो वन ओके ठीक है बट वॉट इज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ द डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप डियर वी नो दैट क्यू प्लस इक्वल टू डी ओके फॉर एनी डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप यू नो दैट क्यू प्लस इक्वल टू डी दैट मीन्स वॉट एवर इज क्यू प्लस सेम हैज टू बी डी देन ओनली द नेक्स्ट स्टेट विल बी डिराइव देन ओनली द नेक्स्ट स्टेट कैन बी ऑप्टेड ओके सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल बी कॉपीड हेयर ओके जीरो जीरो ओके वन या पूरा ही एज इट इज कॉपी कर देते इजी फॉर मी टू कॉपी ठीक है जी अब बताइए आई ओनली वॉन्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ डी वन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डी वन ओके सो वॉट इज द डी वन ओके वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ डी वन ओके इट इज समेशन ऑफ द मिन टर्म्स ओके वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री एंड देन इट इज हाई एट सिक्स वन टू थ्री सिक्स ओके अ क्विक कैलकुलेशन फेड टू द के मैप अ वेरी क्विक कैलकुलेशन टू बी फेड टू द के मैप ओके व्हाट आई एम गेटिंग इज वन टू थ्री फाइव एंड दिस इज सिक्स नाउ लेट मी डू द पेयरिंग ओके दिस इज अरिजोटल पेयर दिस वन इज अ वर्टिकल पेयर दिस इज वॉट आई हैव टेकन द सीक्वेंस ऑफ इनपुट टू बी क्यू टू दिस विल बी क्यू वन दिस इज नोन एज द क्यू नॉट सो माई आंसर फॉर डी वन हैज टू बी q2 टू बार इन टू क्यू नॉट प्लस क्यू वन क्यू नॉट बार क्यू टू बार क्यू नॉट ओके एंड क्यू वन क्यू नॉट बार करेक्टली आई एम एबल टू मैच ऑप्शन नंबर डी वेरी वेरी करेक्टली वी आर एबल टू मैच दप्शन नंबर डी गुड क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन डबल ई टू मार्क्स गुड क्वेश्चन ओके एज अ होमवर्क प्लीज कंप्लीट डी टू एंड डी नॉट दैट इज नॉट आज इन द क्वेश्चन बट यू कैन कंप्लीट इतना एफर्ट कर लिया है तो वो भी कर लेंगे ठीक है अ स्मॉल होमवर्क फॉर यू एस Also, you can find out what is the d2 and what is the value of the d0. Find the d2 and d0. Yes, guys. D1 was the question I have done. You can find d2 and d0. Very, very simple question it is actually. ठीक है. चलते हैं next question की तरफ then. All right. 2023 easy one mark question. Okay. The synchronous sequential circuit shown in the below works at a clock frequency of one gigahertz. okay the clock frequency is 1 gigahertz what is the throughput in megabits per second and what is the latency in nanoseconds respectively are respectively are now let me explain you with this question latency you all know is like delay only okay but what is throughput how do you calculate wo samjhata hu main aapko yahan pe okay so suppose okay suppose you apply a bit here 1 okay suppose you apply a bit here 1 okay then you apply 0 then you apply 1 let us consider this case <laughs> let us say you are applying 101 okay we all know that it is a shift register okay with one input uh, pin and one output pin so it is a siso shift register it is nothing but a siso shift register if you are able to observe single input only single output bit siso shift register shift register works on the functionality of shifting okay that means at the end of first clock pulse please pay attention at the end of first clock pulse okay this is going to reach here okay right at the end of second clock pulse it will reach here at the end of third clock pulse it will reach here okay now what is the meaning of one clock pulse baki bits ko baad mein dekhte hain what is the meaning of one clock pulse so there is the clock frequency given to me the clock frequency is 1 gigahertz so of course what is the time period of the clock that is going to be 1 upon 1 gigahertz so that is simply 10 power minus 9 1 nanoseconds What is the time period of the clock? It is the one nanoseconds. Okay, so it reaches here at one nanosecond. It reaches at two nanoseconds here, and finally it reaches to the output. This is a serial output pin. This is a serial input pin. Okay, so at three nanoseconds. So what is the latency? What is the latency for any particular bit to pass three nanoseconds? So latency to clear ho gaya hai. Okay, the latency is three nanoseconds. But throughput. Okay. How many bits per second can pass through the circuit? That is throughput. Okay, throughput means what? Number of bits that you can pass through the circuit for every one second. For every one second. अब देखना यहाँ पे. Okay, what is going to happen next? Now this second bit. You know, 
एट द फर्स्ट क्लॉक पल्स दिस वॉज अप्लाइड ओके एट द सेकेंड क्लॉक पल्स दिस विल बिकम द सीरियल इनपुट ये तो चला गया ना सो दिस इज गोइंग टू कम हेयर बट दिस इज गोइंग टू कम एट द एंड ऑफ टू नैनो सेकेंड ओके देन एट द एंड ऑफ थ्री नैनो सेकेंड इट रीच इज फर्दर एट द एंड ऑफ फोर नैनो सेकेंड इट रीच इज फर्दर ओके ठीक है सो एट द एंड ऑफ टू नैनो सेकेंड दिस रीच द आउटपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड देन द नेक्स्ट सीरियल इनपुट इज रेडी टू सीरियल इनपुट हैव गॉन इन साइड द सिस्टम ओके नाउ दिस नेक्स्ट वन विल बी रेडी एंड दिस विल रीच हेयर एट थ्री नैनो सेकेंड नेक्स्ट क्लॉक पल्स पे ओके फर्दर आफ्टर वन मोर नैनो सेकेंड दैट इज एट फोर नैनो सेकेंड इट रीच इज टू द नेक्स्ट आउटपुट एंड फर्दर अगेन आफ्टर वन मोर नैनो सेकेंड दैट इज एट फाइव नैनो सेकेंड इट रीच इज हेयर सो आउटपुट ओके Of course, the first output bill. There's a startup effect. The first output bit will come at the end of three nanoseconds. But later on, okay, after every one nanosecond, output bits are coming. After every one nanosecond, the output bits are coming. So, देखो सबसे पहले तो मैंने यहाँ से बोल दिया कि latency कितना हुआ? The latency is the three nanoseconds. For any particular single bit to pass, there's a delay of three nanoseconds. Okay. ओके बट नाउ आफ्टर एवरी वन नैनो सेकेंड बिट्स आर बीइंग रिसीव एट द आउटपुट ओके बिट्स आर बीइंग रिसीव्ड ओके बिट्स आर बीइंग रिसीव्ड एट द आउटपुट पिन व्हाट इज द आउटपुट पिन सीरियल आउटपुट पिन एट एवरी वन नैनो सेकेंड द बिट्स आर बीइंग रिसीव्ड एट एवरी वन नैनो सेकेंड इज दैट क्लियर टू एवरीबडी द बिट्स आर बींग रिसीव आफ्टर एवरी वन नैनो सेकेंड ये ध्यान रखना आफ्टर एवरी वन नैनो सेकेंड ठीक है तो आई कैन से दैट वन नैनो सेकेंड हाउ मेनी बिट इज पासिंग वन बिट इज पासिंग सो इन वन सेकेंड हाउ मेनी बिट्स आर पासिंग ओके वन सेकेंड में तो वन नैनो सेकेंड इज टेन पावर माइनस नाइन सेकेंड ओके तो आई विल डिवाइड दैट टेन पावर माइनस नाइन दीज मेनी बिट्स दैट इज नथिंग बट टेन पावर नाइन बिट्स टेन पावर नाइन बिट्स को ब्रेक किया टेन पावर थ्री दैट इज थाउजेंड इन टू टेन पावर सिक्स बिट्स और वी कैन से दैट दिस इज थाउजेंड टेन पावर सिक्स को वी ऑल नो मेगा बोलते हैं सो वॉट इज द थ्रू पुट ऑफ द डिवाइस एज आई टोल्ड यू नंबर ऑफ बिट्स पासिंग पर सेकेंड ओके नंबर ऑफ बिट्स पासिंग पर सेकेंड सो आई हैव द आई हैव द थ्रू पुट एज थाउजेंड मेगा बिट्स आई हैव द थ्रू पुट ऑफ द डिवाइस एज थाउजेंड एंड द लेटेंसी इज थ्री ऑप्शन नंबर ए Throughput of any device is the number of bits passing per second. Of course, only for the first bit there is a startup effect. It's need three, but after every one nanosecond, one bit is passing. Okay. So first, you should know that you know what is the difference between consecutive bits. Okay. That means okay for every other bit, for every consecutive bit to come, how much time is required? So from there, I am able to say every one nanosecond, one bit is coming. But I don't want nanosecond. So in one second, how many bits are coming? So in one bit, ten power nine bits are coming. That is thousand megabits. That is the throughput of the device. Okay. Latency is like delay for a single bit to be transferred, and that is three nanoseconds. Okay. Any confusion in throughput or delay or the latency, you can ask me here. Okay. This was two thousand twenty-three EC one mark question. Moving ahead to the next question here, two thousand twenty-two EC two marks question. A question on frequency and duty cycle. A question on frequency and the duty cycle. For the circuit shown, the clock frequency is F naught. Duty cycle is twenty five percent. For the signal at the Q output of the flip flop, okay, at the Q output of the flip flop, what is the frequency and what is the duty cycle? Let us let us analyze this. Okay, what is the frequency and what is the duty cycle? It's a two bit counter given to me. It is a two bit counter first given to me, and the LSB of the two bit counter will be fed to the J and K inputs. Okay. Let us say, uh, acha, whenever J and K are equal, you can call it as T input as well. Okay, whenever J and K are shorted, whenever J and K are commonly connected, it behaves as the T flip flop eventually. So what I will do? Let us say the uh, output of the counter. Suppose this is Q1 and this is Q0. Acha, ye LSB bola hai. So that is Q0 and then this is Q1 actually MSB to LSB. Okay, so Q1, Q0. Okay, based on Q naught, whatever is the Q naught, that is the value of t, that is itself the value of the t j and k, and based on that, the next state Q plus. Okay, this output Q, and what is it? It's a two-bit binary counter. Okay, regular binary counter. Okay, it's a regular binary counter. Okay, so write down all possible four combinations: zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Whatever is the value of Q naught, that will behave as the T input to zero, one, zero, one. Okay, LSB. 
zero one zero one and based on that next state now of course by default any device is started with reset so initially flip-flop is also reset okay initially the flip-flop is also reset okay initially the flip-flop was also reset okay now now if the t input is zero there is not going to be any change there is not going to be any change here okay that's what sorry okay isko maine initially zero liya by default initially reset okay but now whenever the t input is one the device will toggle okay toggle means it will become one whenever the t input is zero it will remain in the same state again whenever the t input is one it will again toggle so that is the pattern of the q plus zero one one zero that is the pattern of the q plus zero one one zero and based on that let me draw the waveform what is the frequency and duty cycle at the q output of the flip-flop the clock frequency f naught and the duty cycle is 25 percent let us see whether in the clock frequency is going to matter or not positive edge triggered flip-flop counter also positive edge triggered only duty cycle is only 25 percent for the clock Positive edge triggering hai, that is why let me highlight all the positive edges here. Okay, and now let me draw the Q waveform, which was initially zero. Okay, initially assumed to be zero, but okay, initially assumed to be zero. Okay, then what is going to be? Yeah, Q plus ki jage isko Q hi likhte na, how does it matter? Okay, I have written it in the sequence only anyways not q and q plus okay then next is one next is one then zero and then zero it will be two zeros and two ones it will be two zeros and two ones so let's say initially when a zero liya so next it is simply going to be one next it is simply going to be uh zero liya hai. t ko mene zero le liya hai initially it is stable at zero whenever the counter counts next okay whenever the counter counts next okay so counter ko bhi agar main pe lik dun, counter initially 0 0 after first clock at 0 1 1 0 1 1 and then 0 0 sorry and then again 0 1 this is the repetition of the counter se lenge. Take so this is still 0 okay at 1 0 and 1 1 uh, 1 0 1 and 1 0 it is 1 sorry isi ko mene 0 1 liya so it is going to become 1 here at 1 0 also it remains 1 okay at 1 1 it again becomes 0 at 1 1 it again becomes 0 and it remains to be 0. Again at 0, 1 it will rise high. Okay. T is not 0, 1, 0, 1. T is... Achha, T. T is what? Connected to the LSB. Na? J and K are common. So it is supposed T. Okay. Whatever is Q naught. That is copied here. Na? 0, 1, 0, 1. To 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. From here it is Bhanu. From here it is. Okay. So now please see. What is this frequency? Okay, we know that this is one time period of the clock. Okay, so how much is the time period of the Q waveform? How many time clock periods? 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is the time period of the Q waveform is the 4T clock. Okay, so what is the frequency 1 upon time period? Okay, 1 upon T clock is F clock. So the frequency is 1 by 4 of F clock. The frequency is one fourth of the clock time period. Duty cycle clearly seen 50%. Duty cycle 50%. You can calculate by the formula also. But it is very clearly seen. Huh? How it is 50%? Two clock periods on, two clock periods off. Symmetric, 50-50%. Duty cycle represents a percentage of on time period. So 50% time on, two talk, clock periods may on, two clock periods may off. So that is why 50%. So the answer is... It is F0 by 4 and duty cycle 50%. F0 by 4 and the duty cycle 50%. Okay. The clock frequency will definitely determine the output frequency. Okay. But there is no role on the duty cycle of the output, whatever may be the clock duty cycle actually. Okay. Ideally, there is no effect. So, correct answer is B, 2022, but good marks, good question for EC for two marks, a decent good question. Let us move ahead to the next question then. And yes, guys, before I move ahead to the next question, let me keep reminding you that 17 September, that is Sunday. Okay, you can appear in the Baiju's National Scholarship Test. And if you want to take the next step towards success in GATE, 
okay want to prepare for the full fledged courses you can get up to 90% scholarship based on your performance in this scholarship test so do not miss it up this sunday okay starting from 9 am okay starting from the 9 am acha so 17 september no, sorry it is 24th september i'm sorry dear that is a 24th september i think that is a typo error okay 24th september now guys also okay 20th september wednesday on the Baiju's exam prep app again, your favorite, my favorite, Abhinav Negi sir, MTech IIT Delhi, he is bringing you a free mega live interactive workshop. How to get 80 marks in gate with the 75% syllabus coverage. Yes. Okay. There is always, you know, 75-80% topics which are very, 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 very important and rest of the topics, okay, are like very free, less asked. So what are those topics and how to get the best out of those topics to ensure 80 marks or more okay wednesday 7 30 pm on the baiju's exam prep register now for free okay next question 2023 current year ec2 marks question the current year ec2 marks question in the given sequential circuit initial states q1 is 1 and q2 is 0 okay for a clock frequency of 1 megahertz what is the frequency of the signal q2 okay what is the frequency of the signal q2 Chalo. so you are able to see and even not only these three years even if you go back also the frequency and timing based questions are actually important are actually important okay so let us start with q1 q2 or q2 q1 kisi bhi sequence mein. okay i'll just go with the flow of the diagram it is given in q1 q2 format where q1 is 1 and q2 is 0 q1 is 1 and q2 is 0 but but what are the equations dear Okay, what are the equations? We know that D flip flop hai, Q2 is e plus is equal to D2. But what is D2? It is coming from Q1 bar. It is coming from Q1 bar. Okay. And what is the value of Q1 plus? Q1 plus is D1. D1 kaha se aaya? D1 is coming from Q2. D1 is coming from Q2. That means whatever is the value of Q2, okay, that will be the next by state of Q1. That will be the next state of Q1. Just like left shift here whatever is the current value of q1 its complement will be taken and that is going to the q2 okay that is going to the q2 so iska complement lena hai pe and place it here sorry not exactly take its complement take its complement okay that is what to be done that is what to be done understood so now let's do it up fresh way let's do it up the fresh way q1 q2 1 0 okay so it's ka complement right and this zero to be built here Okay, next state is 0, 0. Then what will happen next? Okay, is ka complement 1 and this 0 directly copied. Next, is ka complement 1 and this 1 to be directly copied. Next, is 1 ka complement 0 and this 1 to be directly copied. I come back to the initial state. I come back to the initial state. I want to calculate the frequency of Q2 which should be very clear now. Which should be very, very clear now. Okay. Right, the frequency of Q2. Okay. The frequency of Q2 clock is 1 megahertz. Okay, the clock is 1 megahertz. So, what is the time period of the clock is 1 upon 10 power 6, that is 1 microseconds. Okay, that is 1 microseconds. I think that is not going to be required. Okay, but just if required, I've calculated. This is 1 megahertz clock. Okay, this is 1 megahertz clock. Okay, once again, okay, for your reference, anyways, those who are perfect uh, champion, they must have answered by this time. Okay, but take for your reference, let me draw the clock waveform again. I think again positive edge triggered, whatever it is. Okay, again positive edge triggered. Okay, so what is the Q2 waveform? Frequency at Q2 chahiye na? Okay, Q2, okay, uh, I am starting with 1, 0, so next is 0. 1, 0 was the initial state. Initially, it is 0. But as soon as the first clock edge come, it remains at 0 only. Okay, ye initial tha. Okay, but first clock edge ke baad ye 0 raha. Okay, next 1, then 1, then 0. Okay, next 1, next again 1. For this clock cycle 1, for this clock cycle 1, and then again becomes 0. And, okay, it is going to be remaining at 0 till this point. Okay, ye dekhna. Okay, because if I want to write down the state, I have started from 1, 0 and then I have 0, 0, then I have 0, 1, then I have 1, 1 state and after 1, 1, I again go back to 1, 0, I go back to 1, 0 and then I have 0, 0. So, this is my 0, 0 repetition. 
ओके दिस इज माई जीरो जीरो रिपीटेशन अब इसका टाइम पीरियड देखना ओके सो वॉट इज द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस वेब फॉर्म वन सेकेंड वन टू थ्री फोर ओके द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ दिस वेब फॉर्म ऑब्जर्व डेट क्यू टू इज अगेन फोर टी क्लॉक सो वॉट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ क्यू टू ओके रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड वन अपॉन टाइम पीरियड इज फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वन बाय फोर एफ क्लॉक दैट इज वन बाय फोर ऑफ द क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन मेगा हर्ट्स ओके थाउजेंड बाय फोर टू फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स थाउजेंड बाय फोर टू फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स थाउजेंड बाय फोर टू फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स ठीक है वॉट वॉट एल्स यू कैन से लेट एस ए क्यू टू इज द एम एस बी वॉट एल्स यू कैन से क्यू टू इज द एम एस बी ओके एंड हाउ मेनी स्टेट्स आर देयर इन दट काउंटर लेट से इट्स अ रेगुलर काउंटर फोर स्टेट्स आर देयर ओके सो फ्रीक्वेंसी एट एम एस बी विनो इज क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइड बाई मॉड नंबर इट इज मॉड फोर इट इज द मॉड फोर वेरी सिंपल इट इज द मॉड फोर सो दैट वे ऑल्सो यू कैन डू इट अप डायरेक्टली ठीक है दैट वे ऑल्सो यू कैन डू इट अप डायरेक्टली है ना डायरेक्टली आप ऐसे भी बोल सकते हो ओके और यू कैन से दैट फ्रीक्वेंसी एट क्यू टू इज द क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवाइडेड बाय मॉड नंबर ओके सो क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन मेगा हर्ट्स एंड मॉड नंबर इट हैज टोटल फोर स्टेट्स ओके दैट इज हाउ इट इज टू फिफ्टी ओके यू नीड नॉट ड्रॉ द टाइमिंग्स देयर ओके यू नीड नॉट ड्रॉ द टाइमिंग देयर बिकॉज देर आर फोर यूनिक स्टेट सो इट इज अ मॉड फोर डिवाइस इट इज अ मॉड फोर डिवाइस क्लियर एवरीबडी इट इज नोन एज वॉट इट इज नोन एज द मॉड फोर डिवाइस ओके हेडिंग आई हेड टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हेडिंग आई हेड टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके अ स्टेट ट्रांजिशन डायग्राम विद द स्टेट्स ए बी सी एंड द ट्रांजिशन प्रोबेबिलिटी पी वन टू पी सेवन इज शोन इन द फिगर वे आर पी वन डिनोट्स द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम स्टेट ए टू स्टेट बी ओके लाइक पी वन डिनोट्स द ट्रांजिशन प्रोबेबिलिटी फ्रॉम स्टेट ए टू बी स्टेट बी इट्स अ फंडामेंटल गुड क्वेश्चन ओके एम एस क्यू है यह भी बता देता हूँ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ई सी टू मार्क्स एम एस क्यू क्वेश्चन इट इज अ फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन बट अ वेरी लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन एप्टीट्यूड बेस्ड क्वेश्चन है ये लग रहा है कि यू नो स्टेट डायग्राम फाइनाइट स्टेट मशीन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन बट एक्चुअली इट्स लाइक एप्टीट्यूड बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ओके देर इज अ ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन स्टेट्स बट द ट्रांजिशन बिटवीन द स्टेट इज गिवन बाई प्रोबेबिलिटी ओके दैट मीन्स देर कैन बी अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम ए टू बी बट दैट इज नॉट श्योर इट कैन हैपन विद सम प्रोबेबिलिटी पी वन इट कैन हैपन विद वॉट विद सम प्रोबेबिलिटी पी वन ओके फॉर द स्टेट डाइग्राम सेलेक्ट द स्टेटमेंट विच इज और आर यूनिवर्सली ट्रू ओके नाउ वॉट कैन बी यूनिवर्सली ट्रू वॉट कैन बी यूनिवर्सली ट्रू ये मेरे को समझने की नीड है वॉट कैन बी यूनिवर्सली ट्रू दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड डियर ओके सो नाउ सो नाउ सपोज यूर करेंट स्टेट सपोज योर करेंट स्टेट इज ए ओके वॉट कैन बी योर नेक्स्ट स्टेट अच्छा इफ अ डिवाइस इज इन द स्टेट ए वॉट आर द पॉसिबिलिटी इट कैन रिमेन इन ए और इट कैन गो टू बी और इट कैन गो टू सी दैट इज वॉट कैन हैपन ना दैट इज वॉट कैन हैपन एनीथिंग एल्स कैन हैपन टेल मी एनीथिंग एल्स कैन हैपन ओके इट कैन रिमेन इन द स्टेट ए इफ इट इज ए इट कैन रिमेन इन द स्टेट ए विद द प्रोबेबिलिटी पी सेवन इट कैन गो टू द स्टेट बी विद प्रोबेबिलिटी पी वन इट कैन गो टू द स्टेट सी विद द प्रोबेबिलिटी पी फोर ओके दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ओके दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ओके आई कैन से दैट दिस इज वॉट इज माई सैम्पल स्पेस okay this is the list of all possible outcomes okay and some of all outcomes which are some of the probabilities of all outcomes which are in sample space is equal to 1 so i can say that p1 plus p4 plus p7 should be 1 is tarike se relation banenge this has to be confirmed one because if a device is in state a it will go it will remain in a or go to b or go to c there is nothing in that can nothing that can happen other than this other than this theek hai to similarly dear Similarly, if current is B, what can be the next? It can go to state A or state B or state B. What are the probabilities? If it is in B, it can go to the state A with the probability p three. With the probability p three. If it is in B, it will remain in B with the probability p two. If it is in B, it can go to C with how much probability? C. There is no direct. There is no directed arrow from B to C. That means, let us say the transition from B to C happens with probability C. It actually it cannot happen, and something which cannot happen, its probability is zero. So here I will write zero, and again sum of all probabilities P two plus P three will be one. 
ओके जीरो को लिखने का नीड नहीं है सिमिलरली लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट करेंट सिच स्टेट करेंट स्टेट मे बी सी सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेट इफ द करेंट इज सी वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट स्टेट देख लेते हैं वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट ओके इट कैन गो टू ए और बी और इट कैन रिमेन इन सी ओके वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी फ्रॉम सी टू ए फ्रॉम सी टू ए इट इज पी सिक्स फ्रॉम सी टू बी नो पाथ नो पाथ मीन जीरो इट कैनॉट हैपन फ्रॉम सी टू सी probability p5 okay this is my sample space and sum of all probabilities within the sample space is 1 so i can say that p5 plus p6 is equal to what is equal to 1 p5 plus p6 is equal to 1 okay so now what are the correct options it is a msq question dear so definitely look into this p1 plus p3 is p5 plus p6 because both of them are equal to 1 both of them are equal to 1 नेक्स्ट हमने देखा था P1 वन प्लस पी फोर प्लस पी सेवन फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन पी वन प्लस पी फोर प्लस पी सेवन इक्वल टू वन दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी ओके बी एन सी एम एस क्यू क्वेश्चन है टू ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट इट इज एम एस क्यू क्वेश्चन टू ऑप्शन करेक्ट इट इज ऑप्शन बी एन सी ठीक है जी वेरी गुड ठीक है सो दैट इज वॉट इट इज गाइज इट्स अ फंडामेंटली गुड क्वेश्चन आई विल से बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट टेस्टिंग योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ स्टेट ट्रांजिशन डाइग्राम okay with basic aptitude with basic aptitude nothing more okay with the basic aptitude chalte hain towards the next question okay chalo moving ahead to the next question here it is 2023 double e2 marks good question 2023 double e2 marks good question neglecting the delays due to logic gates in the circuit shown in the figure okay the decimal equivalent of the binary sequence a b c d okay of initial logic states okay which will not change with clock which will not change with clock what is the decimal equivalent of the binary sequence a b c d of initial logic gates ye jo hai yahan pe which will not change with the clock that binary equivalent which will not change with clock not change with clock means it is a lockout type of condition okay whatever is the current value next should be the same okay now let us come to this diagram and actually let us see what a is okay a is coming from q1 bar okay and this is d not okay if this is d not let me complete it okay so suppose this is q not and if this is q1 bar this is d1 ya hona chahiye q1 okay so let me complete it here also this is d1 this is q not this is d not theek hai so what is the a equal to a is coming from the q1 bar from the q1 complement okay what is this what is this it's a inverter na nor gate sorry nor gate whenever both the inputs are short and it is justing it is nothing but a inverter okay this is a not gate so what is the output here q1 bar ka bar that is q1 okay so that means this is equal to b b is equal to q1 b is equal to q1 acha what is there at the c C is equal to Q naught. C is equal to Q naught. And what is there at the D? Okay. What is there at the D? It is the XOR. XOR of B and C. It is the XOR of B and C. Okay. It is the XOR of B and C. मतलब B is Q one and C is Q naught. It is XOR of these two bits. It is the XOR of these two bits. Now pay attention. Okay. Let us start with Q one Q naught. Let us start in this sequence. okay and with the q1 q0 and with the q1 q0 let me also write down the value of a b c d let me also write down the value of a b c d okay i am assuming q1 q0 to be initially zero i am assuming q1 q0 to be initially zero so suppose ye zero hai and ye zero hai ठीक है सो वॉट इज ए इट इज द क्यू वन बार प्लीज राइट ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ऑल्सो ए इज इक्वल टू द क्यू वन बार ओके बी इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन ओके दैट इज जीरो ओके सी इज इक्वल टू क्यू नॉट क्यू नॉट भी जीरो है तो सी जीरो है एंड डी इज द एक्सॉर ऑफ क्यू वन क्यू नॉट ओके डी इज द एक्सॉर ऑफ बी सी जीरो जीरो का एक्सॉर सेम जीरो जीरो सेम ओके अच्छा गेट इज द एक्सनॉर रिटर्न एक्सॉर अच्छा सो देर इज सम टाइप ऑफ एरर करेक्ट आई थिंक जो रिटर्न है वही होगा लेट मी चेक दी एक्चुअल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ओनली ना जस्ट अ सेकेंड आई विल कन्फर्म इट स्टिल भानू 
XOR was written, so I also went with the flow of XOR. Uh, 2023 official paper, just a second, I have the repository. Double, 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 2023, just a moment, and that is two marks question. Yeah, okay, I'll just check it out and correct it. Ah, in the correct diagram also it is XOR only, okay? It is XOR. It is XOR only. So please remove this bubble. This bubble is not there, okay? In the actual question also this bubble is not there. It is XOR only. Okay, so you can correct this. It is XOR only, not the XNOR. Okay, Chaliye. so that means our calculations are going good. Okay, now what is the next state? What is the next state? If the initial state is 0, 0, so you can check now. Okay, you can check here. As I told you, what is the Q1 plus? Q1 plus is D1, but D1 is equal to Q0. Okay, so whatever is the Q0, okay, that is going to be the next state of Q1. Okay, and then what is going to be Q0 plus? Q0 plus is D0. Okay, Q0 plus is D0. Okay, and D0 is equal to how much? Q1 XOR Q0. Ye jo D0 hai, that is actually Q1 XOR Q0. Whatever is the XOR of these two? 0, 0 ka XOR? What is the 0, 0 ka XOR? 0, 0 same, na? the XOR will be 0. So next is also remaining to be same, dear. If you assume to be initial 0, 0, the next state is also 0, 0. So that means ABCD will also remain to be 0, 0. Okay. So this is that value of ABCD which doesn't change with the clock. Next H clock, next clock H pe next state ana chahiye. But since the next state is same, it is like a lockout problem. So this particular combination of the ABCD, this particular combination of ABCD does not change with clock. Okay, right. So I want the decimal equivalent of it. This is the binary and we know that it is 8. It is the number 8 in decimal. 1 triple 0 is 8. 1 triple 0 is 8. So what is the answer? The decimal equivalent of that binary sequence, okay, which does not change with the clock, the decimal equivalent is 8. Actually 1 triple 0, but decimal me bola hai, so I have called it as 8. I have called it as what? I have called it as 8. Okay, I have called it as 8. Chalo, fantastic. Let's move ahead to the next. Let us move ahead to the next. Okay, dear. So this is a good question. 2023. 2023, we also know, has registered one of the difficult paper of electrical. Usually, electrical people will feel that digital is easy for them. Mostly, it is easy. But 2023, 2023, wo aya challenging. Wo aya challenging. Let us go to the next question then. Okay, let us go to the next question then. Here it is. The propagation delay of the exclusive OR, that is the XOR gate in the circuit is 3 nanoseconds. Propagation delay of all flip-flops is assumed to be 0, a hypothetical situation, but a very, very good question. Okay, propagation delay of flip-flops is assumed to be 0, but the propagation delay of XOR gate is 3 nanoseconds. The clock frequency provided is 500 megahertz. So, what is the time period of the clock? What is the clock time period? It is 1 upon 500 into 10 raised to the power 6. Okay, so 1 upon 5, 0 0.2 and then 10 raised to the power minus 8. So better into 10 kar do. So 2 nanoseconds. 2 into 10 power minus 9. Okay, 2 nanoseconds. Sahi hai na? Ah, correct, correct. That is nothing but the 2 nanoseconds. Theek hai? That is nothing but the 2 nanoseconds. Perfect. Hai. Okay, what else is given now? Starting from the initial value of the flip-flop output 1, 1, 1 with D2 equal to 1, the minimum number of triggering clock edges after which the flip-flop output becomes 100. 
the flip flop output becomes one double zero. I'm taking all questions of 21, 22, 23, whether it is good, difficult, easy, whatever it is. But I think at the most difficult questions, students will lose the patience. And that is what I'm seeing in the attendance. Okay. Sabko easy, easy chahiye. No, I have promised all three years questions. So I cannot be only easy. Whatever the level has come. Whatever the level has come. We have to take that. Okay. So now one by one. What is the Q2 plus? Q2 plus is the D2 input and D2 input it is the XOR of Q0 and Q2. Okay, so it is the Q2 XOR Q0, MSB and LSB. Okay, what is the value of the Q1 plus? Q1 plus is D1 and D1 is getting the value from Q2 and the Q0 plus is equal to D0 and D0 is connected to the Q1. Okay, so let me write down here. What? Let me write down the Q2, Q1, Q0. Okay, let me write down the Q2, Q1, Q0 and this is what this is like my serial input. The D2 that is like my serial input because it is nothing but a shift register behavior. My serial input. Okay, and initially this is given to be 1, 1, 1. Okay, and this is also given to be 1. Serial input means D2 only actually. That is also initially given to me as 1, 1, 1. Okay, so this is what is initially given to me. Okay, this is what is initially given to me. T equal to 0. This is the initial data. So dear, what will happen? Okay, what will happen? See, even if you take XOR here, now what will you think? I will try to modify the serial input because what is the value of the serial input? It is Q2 XOR Q0. Okay, and then it is a right shift register. Why? Q1 plus is Q2. That means whatever is the Q2 will go here. Whatever is the Q1 will go to Q0. Okay, that is one. So it's a right shift register. And whatever is the serial input will come here. Okay, Q2 plus is equal to D2. Okay, Q2 plus is equal to D2. This is like serial input. Pay attention. It is a serial input. Okay, now we will write 1 and 1 XOR. 1 and 1 ka XOR will be 0. So I will write this as 0. But the XOR output, the XOR output is after 3 nanoseconds. A very tricky question it is. The XOR output is after 3 nanoseconds, but the clock time period is 2 nanoseconds. That means after 2 nanoseconds itself, the clock transition will happen. And at every clock, and every clock, this shift register will update. Okay, all the D flip flops will update. Okay, so this will come here, this will come here, this will come here, this will happen at t equal to 2 nanoseconds. That is the first clock edge. Okay, but but the XOR of 1, 1, please keep listening to me. The XOR of 1 and 1 calculation also started. Also started. 1 and 1 ka XOR. 1 and 1 ka XOR. Deekho, abhi ye update nahi hoga. But 1 and 1 ka XOR will become 0. Okay. 1 and 1 ka XOR. How this is coming? This is coming from the XOR of 1 and 1. Okay. This is coming from the XOR of 1 and 1. This is coming from the XOR of 1 and 1. Theek hai? It is coming from the XOR of 1 and 1. But the point was the XOR gate is taking more time. So XOR output to aega. But in between them, one transition happened. Actually, there is no change because of the values. But officially, I can say one transition happened. Officially, I can say that one transition has happened. Okay. Now, who will come next? So after every 3 nanosecond XOR output. And after every 2 nanosecond clock. So next aega T equal to 4. Next will be t equal to 4 nanoseconds. So register will update and register is nothing but a right shift register. So this will update 0, this will update 1, this will update 1. So at t equal to 4 nanoseconds, XOR, uh, the uh, shift register is updated. But here 1 and 1 ka XOR. 1 XOR gate output is arrived. So next calculation will start. 1 and 1 ka XOR 0. That will come at, okay, that will come at, so ye change nahi hoga, that will come at here. Okay, that will come at here. That is t equal to 6 nanoseconds. Okay, so what is this? This is coming from the XOR of 1 and 1. But which 1 and 1? Wo bhi aapko bata deta hu. It is coming from this state. It is actually coming from this state. It is actually coming from this particular state. Okay. Achha, t equal to 6 means one more 2 nanoseconds. So shift register bhi update hoga. So what is the updated shift register? This is 0. This is 0, okay, and then this is 1. Achha, I need to go up to what? Okay, I need to go up to the 1 double 0. I need to go up to the 1 double 0. Ye bhi dekhna hai mujhe. So I will go up to the 1 double 0. Right now I have to carry forward. Okay, now 6 nanosecond, one more XOR calculation will start. And what is the XOR of 0, 1? That is 1. But that will happen at 9 nanoseconds. And between 9, okay, between 9, there will be 8 nanoseconds. So one more updation of shift register. 
वन मोर अपडेशन ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल हैपन वन मोर अपडेशन ऑफ शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल हैपन ओके सो सॉरी दिस इज जीरो तो दिस इज जीरो 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 एंड दिस इज नॉट चेंज ओके दिस इज नॉट चेंज बट टी इक्वल टू नाइन जैसे ही टी इक्वल टू नाइन नैनो सेकेंड आया देर विल बी अपडेशन ओके वॉट विल बी द अपडेशन ओके द एग्जॉर गेट विल अपडेट जीरो वन का एग्जॉर इज वन ओके जीरो वन का एग्जॉर इज वन वाई दिस इज वन दिस इज जीरो एग्जॉर वन कहां से आया ये जीरो एग्जॉर वन फ्रॉम दिस स्टेज फ्रॉम विच स्टेज फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज ओके ओके नाउ ओके अच्छा सो ये तो जीरो 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 रहेगा शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल नॉट अपडेट ओके शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल नॉट अपडेट शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल अपडेट एट टेन नाउ ओके ओनली एट इवन इंटरवल्स ओके सो नाउ डियर आई विल टेक द टी इक्वल टू द टेन नैनो सेकेंड्स ओके शिफ्ट रजिस्टर विल अपडेट दिस विल नॉट अपडेट वन दिस विल बी जीरो दिस विल बी जीरो एंड आई हैव गॉट वन डबल जीरो I need to stop at one double zero. Okay, so how many clock edges have been required? At every two nanoseconds, I have the uh, clock edges. Okay, first clock edge, four nanosecond is like second. Four nanosecond is like second. Six nanosecond is like third. Eight nanosecond is like fourth. Ten nanosecond is like fifth. Okay, that is your answer. Okay, one double zero has been obtained. Okay, after five clock pulses. we know that 2021 for ec was little low scoring paper relatively okay this was a good question and if you have able to solve such category of question you are among the toppers okay you are among the toppers so these are good questions these are the good questions dear theek hai very very good questions hai skip mat karna isko i feel that sometimes at good questions attendance drop but don't no problem okay i am here to complete my promise i told you all questions of 3 years so i am covering up all questions of the 3 years theek i am covering up all questions of the 3 years so i shall be moving ahead to the next question now okay la now come to the some adc and dac questions a 8 bit unipolar uh, where all analog output values are positive d to a digital to analog converter has a full scale voltage range okay from 0 to 7.68 if the digital input code is 1001010 the left most being the msb as always then the analog output of the dac analog output of the dac now guys very simply it's a one mark question ekdam simple sa here because what is the vlsb okay or we also call it as the resolution or the step size the resolution vlsb is given by what formula v full level okay this is known as the full level voltage VFL, okay, divided by two raised to the power n minus one. If the full level voltage is given, so it is VFL divided by two power n minus one. So what is the VFL? That is the seven point six eight divided by eight bit ka DAC hai. So two raised to the power eight minus one calculations at the end. Okay. Now what is the decimal conversion of this value? Okay, DAC hai na the simple shortcut. I hope you all know. The simple shortcut. No need to apply that formula for DAC. Complicate mat karna. Just convert that digital code, that binary code to decimal. Okay. So in decimal, okay, its value would be, its value would be zero. Sorry, zero. Nahi. That is one. Okay. Then two, four. GP method. Two, four, eight. Then I will have sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Whatever method you know, you convert. Usme mein time waste nahi karunga. This is one fifty. This is one fifty. Okay, so what should be my answer? Okay, for a single step, this much voltage will change. For a single step, this much voltage will change. Okay, right. If I go from uh, decimal zero to decimal one, this much will change. I have gone up to decimal one fifty. So my answer will be seven point six eight divided by two power eight minus one, which is two fifty five. Is multiplied by 150 calculations. एक साथ करेंगे आंसर को प्लेस करेंगे सो लेट मी डू दैट क्विकर कैलकुलेशन डियर एंड द आंसर इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव वन सेवन अप्रोक्सीमेटली करेक्ट कुछ डेसिमल प्लेस बोला है क्या राउंड ऑफ टू वर्ल्ड डेसिमल प्लेस ओके सो आई एम गेटिंग फोर पॉइंट फाइव वन सेवन करेक्ट फोर पॉइंट फाइव वन सेवन वोल्ड Rounding off to one decimal place, they are asking. So four point five volts. Simple. The answer is the four point five volts up to the one decimal place. And here is my answer. Okay, four point five volts. Done, eh, Ji? The four point five volts. That is the final and the correct answer. Hanji, okay. 
4.5 volts. Next question. This was a simple one mark question. Next question, 2022 EC2 marks question. This is also simple. Okay, based on the R to R ladder only. R to R ladder consider a circuit shown with an ideal op amp. Okay, the output voltage V0 will be how much? So guys, okay, the reference voltage is 1.6 and we know that we know that this is your fundamental R to R ladder with the additional network with the additional resistor of 2R given. Okay, so guys, what is the equivalent resistance of this? From this much of the portion, what is the equivalent resistance? R to R ladder ka final equivalent resistance. If you have studied thoroughly, you know it should be R. Nahi to aise dekh lije. Okay, this is 2R, 2R parallel. First forget the voltage. Solve the equivalent resistance. 2R, 2R parallel R. Okay, then R and R series, 2R. Okay, again 2R parallel 2R. Okay, 2R parallel 2R, R. Again R, R series, 2R. Again 2R parallel 2R, R. Again R and R series, 2R. Again 2R parallel 2R, R. Ho gaya na? So we should directly know that the R equivalent here is R. ठीक है ये डिराइव करने का नीड नहीं होना चाहिए दिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ डैक दिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ डैक सो नो इफ यू नो दैट दिस इज आर अच्छा व्हाट इज द इनपुट गिवन ओके वी नो दैट दिस करेस्पॉन्ड्स टू व्हाट वी आर ओके द वी आर इज टेकन एज वन हियर जस्ट अ सेकंड गाइस ओके आई विल जस्ट पुट इट एज जीरो ये ग्राउंडेड है ये जीरो है लेट मी सॉल्व इन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बाइनरी फॉर्मेट सो इट इज 0101 वी नो दैट दिस करेस्पॉन्ड्स टू द एमएसबी Okay, we know that this particular bit corresponds to what corresponds to the MSB. This corresponds to the MSB. Okay, so what is the input? I can call it as 0101. I can call it as 0101, which is 5 in decimal. Which is 5 in decimal. That is the binary input being fed. That is the binary input being fed. Okay, Achha, this is the VR. So what is the VLSB? What is the VLSB? VR upon 2 power n in terms of VR. So that is 1.6 divided by 2 power 4. Char bit ka input hai. 1.6 divided by 16 is 0 0.1. It is 0 0.1. The step size is 0 0.1. Okay. 0 0.1. So how much is the input voltage I can say? How much is the input voltage I can say? Okay. It is again the step size multiplied by 5. That is 0 0.5. Okay, that is 0 0.5. Okay, when converted to analog format, it is 0 0.5. So let me draw the equivalent picture here. If I am trying to draw the equivalent picture here. Okay, there is this additional resistance to R. But the equivalent resistance of the R to R ladder we know is R. Iska equivalent resistance R hota hai. This is known as R. And let us consider this 0.5 volt here. Let us consider the 0.5 volt here and then we have the RF that is given also as that is given as 3R and this is the analog output V0. This is 3R. Okay, so R to R again if you consider this in the, this is coming to be in series of course. So this is again 3R. So RF and the total resistance is equal. So dear what is going to be the V0? It is derived by the inverting terminal. Okay, so it will be definitely negative but 3R cancelled with the 3R. 3R upon 3R into the 0 0.5 into the 0 0.5. So what is the final answer? It is minus 0 0.5 minus because of the inverting terminal. So minus 0 0.5 is the final answer dear. Okay. It is the minus 0 0.5 is the final answer. It is the minus 0 0.5 with the negative sign you have to take care because it is a NAT question. Okay. R value was not recorded because eventually they have cancelled each other. Okay. So good decent question I will say 2022 EC2 marks question. This is a 2022 EC2 marks question. Okay. Chalo. So we shall be moving ahead to the next question then. The next question is here it is. The 8 bit ADC converts analog voltage in the range 0 to 5 volt to the corresponding digital code as per the conversion characteristic shown in the figure. Okay, for V in is equal to 1.9922, which of the following digital output given in hex okay, is true. Actually, we need to calculate digital output, but given in the hex format, that conversion and all we can do. Okay, take care. so we have this 8 bit ADC analog to digital converter. Now, you can see this here. Okay, let us see. Mm, 
it is 1.99 that is the input given to me in the full scale voltage is 5 volt okay and it is 8 bit Achha. so what is this we all know that this is vfl okay this is the vfl so what is the resolution ek bar agar resolution ki baat kare 2023 current year 2 marks question for double e okay in terms of vfl it is vfl upon 2 power n minus 1 so it is 5 volt divided by 2 raised power 8 minus 1 that is 5 upon 2 double 5 so how much is the resolution dear how much is the resolution that is 0 0.0196 okay 0 0.0196 volts or i can call it as 19.6 millivolts dhyan dena the resolution here dear okay the resolution here vlsb is 19.6 millivolts 19.6 millivolts may convert kar diya because the characteristics also in millivolts given to me but what is the type of characteristic ab dekhoge okay 19.6 is my step size this is my one step so 19.6 into 2 that is my second step value that should be the second step value okay so dear so dear normally what happens normally what happens in the adc okay when you change by one step okay then you get the next uh, decimal count when the analog adc and when the analog input changes by one step you get the next decimal count when it changes by another step you get the next decimal count okay etc 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 but what is happening here is when it reaches midway of the first step it changes the value okay up to the midway of the next step up to the midway of the next step so ye kya hai 9.8 is actually 19.6 divided by 2 this is midway okay this is midway okay this is what is the midway midway of the step so at the midway of the step i change the value at the midway okay of the step size i change the value Achha. ab yaha pe mujhe v in kitna given hai what is the v in is 1.9922 okay Achha. so 1.9922 is divided by 19.6 millivolt 19.6 millivolt that is 0 0.0196 kyunki ye volt mein hai to volt wala value bhi likh diya so when i divide this actually how many times the input as compared to step size how many times it is 1.9922 divided by 0.0196 that is equal to 101.64 that is 101.64 how many times 101.64 okay the input that is given to you is 101.64 okay 101.64 now as per this diagram what i have been able to understand what i have been able to understand dekho agar aap midway ke pehle ho please pay attention here okay if you are before the midway you will take the lower step value and if you are after the midway you will take the higher step value you will take the higher step value okay so please note that What is observed here is that if you are before midway, okay, you have to take the previous step value. Okay, if you are after the midway, if you are after the midway, you will take the next step value, correct? You will take the next step value, okay? So I am at 101.64, which is greater than which is greater than 101.5 that means it is above the midway okay it is above the midway okay so take your answer as so take your answer as 102 102 take your answer as 102 okay okay in decimal uh, i'll be moving 102 now what is its binary conversion quickly do it i have taken 102 Okay, I have taken how much? 102, correct? Na? Huh, that is 102. Okay, so now what should be the answer? I have taken 102. I have taken 102. Dear, 102, okay, when you divide by 16, okay, and write down the question and remainder. The 102 divided by 16 is 6, and 16, 6 are 6, the so remainder is 6. Okay. 6 divided by 16, 0 is the question. So we stop and the entire 6 is the remainder. Answer is obtained by reading the remainders in reverse order, converting to hexa. 
कन्वर्टिंग टू हेग्जा सिक्सटी सिक्स शुड बी दी आंसर कन्वर्टिंग टू हेग्जा डायरेक्टली कन्वर्ट टू हेग्जा ना यू कैन कन्वर्ट टू बाइनरी ऑल्सो बट क्वेश्चन में क्या बोला विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिजिटल आउटपुट एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट डिजिटल आउटपुट ओनली बाइनरी आउटपुट बट आंसर आर कन्वर्टेड इन हेग्स ओके सो राधा देन कन्वर्टिंग टू बाइनरी अगेन कन्वर्टिंग टू हेग्स डायरेक्टली इसको कन्वर्ट किया हेग्स में एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज द सिक्सटी सिक्स द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी सिक्स सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज द सिक्स सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स इज द फाइनल आंसर मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी सिक्स इज द राइट आंसर आई शुड बी गोइंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ईसी वन मार्क वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन गाइज ओके जस्ट सॉल्व इट अप आई जस्ट come back in a minute i need to bring up my charger okay just solve it up just a second ha huh? na हाँ यह लेट्स चेक इट आउट नाउ ओके सो एड्रेसिंग अ थर्टी टू के क्रॉस सिक्सटीन मेमोरी ओके इज रियलाइज यूजिंग अ सिंगल डिकोडर जस्ट अ सिंगल डिकोडर मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ एंड गेट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द डिकोडर मिनिमम नाउ यू कैन मिनिमाइज द नंबर ऑफ गेट्स इफ यू यूज अ गेट विद मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ इनपुट लाइन्स सो नाउ देर इज अ थर्टी टू के there is a 32k cross 16 okay what is this now this is representing the number of addresses this is representing the number of addresses what is the role of decoder in memory it's a fundamental question from memory what is the role of decoder in memory is to form addresses okay and this will represent the size of the data bus size of a single register of the memory also you can say let us say this is the data bus okay so i have how many addresses 32k addresses number of addresses is 32k 32k now 32 is 2 power 5 and 1k is 2 raised to the power 10 the 1k is 2 power 10 by binary world mein okay so this is total 2 power 15 so the output of the decoder okay will be 2 power 15 okay okay so how many input will be there at the decoder how many input will be there at the decoder okay how many input will be there at the decoder okay the outputs of the decoder will be 2 power 15 the output served as the address line so the decoder will be of the size okay so the decoder will be of the size the decoder will be of the size 15 cross 2 raised to the power 15 okay 15 cross 2 power 15 for every output line we need one and gate so how many and gates are required 2 power 15 okay 2 raised to the power 15 and gates okay of how many inputs 2 power 15 and gates each and gate will be 15 input and gate each and gate will be 15 input and gate each and gate will be the 15 input and gate theek hai dhyan rakhna 15 so that is why they told minimum number of and gate so minimum to tab hoga na when you say you have a 15 input and gate if you take two two input and gates it will be many and gates okay so when i am asking minimum number of and gates so i have to assume that and gate can be of any capacity for any uh, input lines it can accommodate so the answer is option number b only 2 power 15 so fundamental question fundamental memory based question uh, uh, on the memories okay on the size of the memory option number b is the correct option option number b is the correct option next one acha before i show you the next one okay as i told you i will share you the complete uh, pdf of the today session in my telegram so those who have been watching continuously i think it's more than one and a half hours and there are still uh, few more questions okay so yeah you have to stay till the end so that you complete all the questions also guys whatever pdf i share in my telegram that is password protected a random password i frame okay so you can only access the pdf if you have the password and password if you have if you are watching it okay so the password for today's pdf will be memory the password for today pdf will be memory m e m o r y everything in small please note down this password whenever i share the pdf you can access i'll share it tonight or maybe tomorrow first by first half i'll try try to share it tonight only okay memory will be the password chalte hain next question ki taraf the contents of the register 
is 25H, 30H and 40H. Three registers is given. The following machine instructions are executed. Okay. After the execution, the contents of the register. It's a, it's a COA question. A similar question I will show in electrical also. Okay. Some fundamental, although they have removed microprocessor and microcontroller, but this can be taken under COA definitely. It's a computer organization and computer architecture part, you can say. Okay. So push R1. Okay. Push R1. Let us say, let us say this is the memory structure. Okay, and let us say this is the top of stack right now. Okay, this is the stack pointer pointing to the top of the stack. But whenever a push command is given, push R1. Okay, whenever you get push R1, at this push R1. Okay, what is the first command? First command is push R1. So at the push R1, the contents of the register R1 are pushed to the memory location. Okay, which is above the top of stack. Okay, top of stack already has a data. The stack pointer decrements. Okay, and the value is stored there. So this is 25. Okay, at the register R1. Then the next command push R2. At the push R2, the value goes. The register R2 is stacked in, stored into the stack. And next is push R3. Push R3 and this value 40 goes here. And now I have, these are the three push cycles and now I will pop. Now I will pop. Okay, so pop, pop is to retrieve the data from the stack. Pop is to retrieve the data from the stack. So what is the first command is the pop R1 is the pop R1. So when I write pop R1, the R1 will get the contents. Okay. The R1 will get the contents, which is currently at the top of stack, which is 40, which is currently at the top of stack. Next, you are giving the command pop R2. Okay. So R2 will be able to get the data which is on to the top of stack now that is 30 because after every pop operation the stack pointer okay the stack pointer comes down okay the stack pointer comes down that is its value is incremented normally we arrange the memory from 0 to the highest location downwards okay okay or, or whatever arrangement you have okay uh, now what is this this is pop R3 Okay, so R3 will get the value that is equal to how much? R3 will get the value that is here 25. Okay, after the execution, after the execution, the contents of the register R1, R2, R3 is 40, 30 and 25. It is the 40, 30 and 25. It is the 40, 30 and 25 option number B, 2021. With the current syllabus only, this is the question. Okay. Just one or two more Zahid. Okay, just one or two more and we are done. But we are done with absolutely all questions of EC and W of 21, 22, 23. Question kitna bhi difficult ho ya kitna bhi easy ho. I have taken all. The easiest question also and the most difficult question also. Okay, especially that XOR gate delay and all those questions. Duty cycle based question. Theek hai? Chalo. So option number B. Moving ahead to the next. Theek hai? Probability, probably last year I think. Okay, microcontroller 2023 current year double E2 marks. Okay, but you know, guys, many people, many students thought that it is out of syllabus. This can be challenged. IIT did not accept this challenge. It's a fundamental, you know, agar aapko thoda bhi knowledge hai microprocessor ka, whether you have studied even in your university, at least IITs are expecting, na? Okay, at least IITs are expecting that you have studied something in university, at least you have read it in university. Nobody is giving gate just like that no, without going to engineering. Okay. Even if you know this, you are able to solve. Because the concept of carry, auxiliary carry, overflow and parity, you study in the digital. Overflow is not a new concept for you. Given a 8-bit general purpose microcontroller, general purpose microcontroller, there are the following flags. C for carry, A for auxiliary carry, overflow, overflow, overflow you study in the number systems only and P for parity. R0 and R1 are the two general purpose register of the microcontroller. After the execution of the following instruction, okay, the decimal equivalent of the binary sequence of the flag pattern CAOP will be. CAOP will be. Ab dhyan dena, it is a 8 bit. Okay, so move. Move command means whatever the data you are moving in the register R0. Okay, so it should be what? It is a 8 bit register. Na? That it can only load 60. Okay, that means the R0 register will get 60. Okay, 60 means 60 hexa. Okay. Similarly, the 0, 0, the 46 will go to the R1. So next is R1 and R1 will get what? R1 will get the 46. Okay, R1 will get what? R1 will get the 46. Okay, now add R0, R1. This is also understood that R0 and R1 are going to be added now. So when I add them, 
okay when i add them and the result is stored in r naught so after the addition this is 0 plus 6 6 and 6 plus 4 that is a maine pehle hexa mein kar diya maine pehle hexa mein kar diya okay now to understand overflow also if i if i do it in binary okay if i do it in binary dekho 6 0 what is 6 0 hexa to binary 0 1 1 0 okay 0 0 0 0 and next is 4 6 4 6 what is 4 0 1 0 0 and 6 is 0 1 1 0 okay so now i add 0 1 1 0 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 okay now please take care of the fact that how many ones are there how many ones are there because parity flag ka content hum bata sakte na how many ones are there one two three four there are four ones okay so what is the status of the parity flag it is zero clearly mentioned also parity it is zero for even and one for odd okay next what is the status of auxiliary carry auxiliary carry is the carry generated from the lower nibble to the upper nibble that is the lower four bits to the upper four bits okay lower four bits to the upper four bits okay so agar isko yahan separate kare what is the auxiliary carry okay what is the auxiliary carry zero there is no carry going from the lower four stage to the upper four stage Achha, what is the main carry one plus zero plus zero is zero there is no carry so main carry carry going out of the final stage there is also no carry okay what about overflow now overflow ke liye, overflow i'm telling you know you study number system it is also nothing new for you okay the numbers to be added both are having the msb equal to zero both are having the msb equal to zero so what happens there when you add positive numbers what happens when you add positive numbers positive plus positive is positive but the result that is coming is negative impossible na? when you add two positive numbers result cannot be negative this is impossible and that is happening because of overflow okay the numbers are going out of the range actually when you convert these two into decimal na? and when you add in dono ko decimal mein convert karke add karoge the result goes beyond 255 in a 8 bit format the highest number that can be stored is 255 when you add these two numbers try it out in decimal you add 110 percent answer is going to be greater than 255 and 255 is the highest positive value that you can store in a 8 bit register okay that is why that is why by 200 200 both are valid now suppose 200 200 both are valid in the range but when you add it is 400 that is not in the range that will give overflow overflow flowing out of the range okay so positive plus positive is positive is giving negative that is the overflow so overflow is set overflow has occurred okay okay overflow has occurred overflow has occurred whenever positive and positive are added and it is giving a negative value that is overflow similarly when negative and negative are added so negative negative should be more negative but suppose the answer turns to be positive overflow occurs whenever two numbers of opposite sign are added overflow cannot occur that is impossible whenever two numbers of opposite sign are added overflow cannot occur because dusra opposite sign ka hai to wo overall sum ko niche pull karega theek hai ji so these are the two conditions of overflow that also you can revise here so overflow flag will be one so overall contents in what format they are asking they are asking in the caop format caop format what is the c dear what is the c c was zero auxiliary carry also zero o is one parity is zero question mein kya bola hai? what is the decimal equivalent of the binary sequence caop okay so this is the binary sequence caop decimal mein 0, 0, 1, 0 is just two to answer is two okay answer is two only overflow caop o yahan pe tha to 0, 0, 1, 0. correct so final answer okay in decimal format it is equal to two in the decimal format it is equal to what it is equal to 2 it is equal to what it is equal to 2 done ji done ji the final answer is equal to 2 let's move ahead to the next question i think that is done only that is done i told you this is the last question so guys as i told you these are updated dates i'm starting from 19 actually tomorrow so some app classes updates for you Okay, on the Baiju's exam prep app, 11 a.m., the differential equation practice session. So, along with this, if you want to practice differential equation also, like tomorrow, variable separable differential equation, important and easy. 
this is tomorrow 19 september okay then linear first order then higher order cauchy euler okay so very very important areas of differential equation okay we are practicing on the byju's exam prep app so you can join me tomorrow at 11 am i'll share you the link in the telegram okay i'll share you the link in the telegram okay don't worry about that take don't worry about that all right guys so that's it and uh, yeah telegram link bhi main share kar deta hu pdf password i have already shared it with you okay guys so i'll just share you my telegram link and then we are done it turned out to be a long session but that's okay we are done all right theek hai ji thank you guys now youtube update i'll give you youtube updates also i will give you so tomorrow okay first of all at 5 pm okay network theory okay of course by sanjay sir of course by sanjay sir network theory for ec okay thursday pe aa jaoge aap thursday pe double e branch he will cover both branch wise kyunki network there are many questions in ec also and many questions in double e also theek hai wednesday pe aa jaye this is by sanjay sir okay all pyqs update i am giving you okay the three years pyqs that we are discussing wednesday pe aa jate hain agar hum my time will be 9 pm only okay in the saturday session also i have told you the timings so my timing will be 9 pm wednesday we are again continuing with digital only but that is for computer science question but guys i suggest you whether you are ecwe or computer science practice the cs question even if you are ecwe you will get separate variety of question practice some new separate variety of question practice okay so digital computer science branch wednesday at 9 pm okay that is a digital computer science branch wednesday 9 pm ko karenge hum theek hai wednesday 9 pm okay then after that we will continue more subject signals analog emft control system all pyqs we are discussing theek hai chalo guys bye bye thank you good night stay safe and take care of yourself